it's great to have the United Nations IPU uh, down here in the Pacific, meeting with Pacific countries here in the New Zealand Parliament to talk about the UN resolution on the non-proliferation of weapons of mass destruction, that's nuclear weapons, biological and chemical weapons. And it's important because uh, for small uh, island nations, these, the requirements of this uh, UN declaration are quite onerous, so it's an opportunity to talk together about how we can work together to make this a safe uh, Pacific for all of those of us who live in it. And uh, we're absolutely delighted to have so many people here with us today. The role of parliamentarians is evolving, and now we find that when it comes to implementing treaties and protocols that uh, the executive branch signs, uh, parliaments are indispensable because they are the ones who make the laws, they are the ones who enact uh, legislation. So over the past two days we have basically been talking about uh, what the resolution is about, what are the obligations, finding obligations on the nations. So it's been building, raising awareness, uh, sharing uh, good practices, uh, parliamentarians talking to each other from the region. And, uh, and thank you to the Parliament of New Zealand for providing this platform. New Zealand and the Pacific are joined by history, geography, politics and demographics. Now more than ever, New Zealand's people, economy and environment are connected to the prosperity, well-being and security of the Pacific region in which we live. The programme of work is known as Taiakiwa, a stronger Pacific parliaments. And I'm really passionate about making connections uh, in our region, strengthening democracy and good governance, and sharing our knowledge uh, and resources. I'm pleased that we can host this seminar to link up parliaments and a range of international agencies uh, working in the disarmament uh, and the security space. This is a key way to identify areas of priority and to learn more about the regional pressure points and the movement of illicit weapons and other controlled items. Parliamentarians have uh, a unique uh, uh, role to play in this process in that their advocacy, their championing of 1540 implementation as well as the non-proliferation regimes generally speaking, is a very effective uh, contribution to ensuring that non-proliferation is promoted and furthered, certainly in the Pacific. As a member of this region, New Caledonia is very uh, is, uh, happy and, uh, to, to attend this uh, meeting. Uh, this meeting uh, talks about bi security, uh, about biological uh, risk and the chemical risk on the population and on, on our country so it's important for New Caledonia to be a part of the decision. We've been learning a lot in the last few days uh, in terms of uh, what are there, uh, the assistance that we could get uh, and perhaps uh, examples that have been uh, laid perhaps by other smaller islands as well particularly the Caribbean uh, so we appreciate the uh, inputs as well from uh, our friends from the Caribbean. I think it's an eye-opener to most of us. I'm a new uh, member of parliament in Fiji, and uh, the information we have got through what our countries need to do in terms of it, the treaty and also the convention is going to help us in seeing that uh, the reporting aspects that the United Nations require of uh, uh, state parties need to be seen to be done. The voice of the Pacific is an important voice and it needs to be heard. And I think uh, through this event here today and over the next uh, two days, what we are doing really is highlighting uh, the importance of the Pacific in a global context. And there can be nothing more global, nothing more pressing than peace and security when it comes to international affairs.